markup summary compiles a list of markups into a report, ideal for tracking updates and reviewing markups. For example, if you're coordinating a renovation of an office floor plan and need to share a report with your project partners, you can create a summary. To start, open the markups list, which is typically located at the bottom of the interface. Before running the report, keep in mind that summary will reflect any filters that have been applied to the markups list. Click the summary icon and you'll see several export formats. For example, select PDF summary. Most users export summaries for all pages, but you can select a specific page range and add more files if needed. In the output tab, choose the export file location and desired visual properties to include. Each format has unique settings. For PDFs, you can attach a hyperlinked report to the end of your set of drawings and apply a custom template. For example, let's select Append and Hyperlink here. Use the Options button at the bottom to adjust page size and orientation, and to include embedded captures in your summary. In the Columns tab, select the columns you would like to include in your report, and click and drag them to adjust the order. This allows for a tailored summary that highlights the most relevant information. In the Filter and Sort tab, use the drop-down menus to filter markups by various parameters, such as including or excluding certain subjects. You can also sort the report order and save your configuration for future use or load a saved setup. When ready, click OK to generate the report. Since we've selected Append and Hyperlink, clicking any markup in the summary will take you directly to the location on the drawing.